Hi. So in this video, I'm going to give you a bit of a rundown on the uh, significance of the energy research that a lot of people are doing. Back in the 1990s, I attended a meeting. It was a, under the pretense of an Amway meeting. I gave it a little try for a little while. I attended a very big meeting when I started doing that. And that meeting had a lot of very rich people from foreign countries, several of them. People were from India, possibly quite a few other Arab nations that were there. There's a lot of policies that get written on a lot of stuff with energy. And here in the United States, we purchased a lot of oil from over there. What a lot of people don't know is a lot of these convenience stores, at least they used to be, were owned by churches set up here in the United States for the purpose of writing off their operating expenses. And writing a lot of policies. Now here on YouTube, there are some people here that are kind of an energy police for those policies that are written here in the United States. You can kind of say the community is corrupted in the uh, recruiting of some of the guys that are really trying. There's a lot of stuff I want to get to, but my life was disrupted for what I've shared so far. So of course I got some concerns with going further and my life has also been disrupted here. There's a lot of people doing stuff for John Bedini's research. And there's some there's some stuff behind that. I happen to know who John Bedini is or was. I've met him. The energy research we do here has a lot of significance. We are supposed to be going to a greener planet, so they say. Reduce carbon emissions. They keep pushing those things back. And our debt here in the United States keeps increasing at a very significant rate with the current policies, as well as you seeing the fuel prices as they are. At the moment, things are at a bit of a standstill because of the position I'm in. I need to earn a living somehow. And I've been getting denied the non-discriminatory right to earn a living. I'm really starting to question what kind of freedoms we really have here in the United States. Are we really free? Or are we living our daily lives as a corporate entity 24-7. Are you really getting all the fruits of your labor? Something to think about.
Thanks for watching. I guess you could say I was there for when a lot of policies were being written here in the United States. Sometimes they don't tell you if you were drafted for some ad campaign that maybe they never had any intention ever paying you for. Or you reach the end of the service of the ad campaign and maybe you're not falling in line with how they wanted the ad campaign to proceed, but yet they don't tell you how they want the ad campaign to proceed. Mike, 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 Mike. Eh? Nah, nah, nah. Thanks for watching.